is the hard work and passion Beyond take two Take a walk beyond Hollywood Beyond the welcome, lights Welcome, welcome <laughs> That's is magic the hard work <laughs> and passion No, you gotta do it We need you Let's go, Mash Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome This is the Beyond Take Two Podcast Brought to you by Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival. I'm your host, Madge. And I'm your host, Veronica. And today we have a special, 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 special guest in the building with us. Uh, this young man is a professional actor. I mean, he's the actor's Young actor. man, I like that. <laughs> you have seen him on things like uh, General Hospital, uh, LA's Finest. Uh, he had a role on Dahmer on Netflix, right? This man is doing his thing, and not only that, he is an acting coach. He's he, he's the coach's coach, you know. So if you have a favorite actor, and that actor has a coach, you're probably looking at him right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Jonathan Stanley is in the building. Ash did his homework. Thank you for the intro. <laughs> man, no problem, no problem. How you doing today? <laughs> I'm blessed. How you doing? Oh, I'm hanging in there, man. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. So we're going to get into everything that you're doing. But first, we have our Buttered Up segment. Let's do it. So, Veronica, what do we have today? So we have Double Good. And it is cheese. All cheese. You have to open it. You have to taste it. You have to put it you in the bowl. You got to it. <laughs> you got to do everything. We put you to work in here. So. What, what is this? Popcorn. You got to taste it. Popcorn. Cool. You guys haven't tasted it? I've tasted all the other double goods, though. I've never heard of double goods. I've had to save this one for today. I'm breaking my fast for this. Really? Everybody's breaking their fast their, for the yeah. popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Just for that, you got to eat this. Was oh. it Ramadan or something? Just kidding. That's good. Is it good? It's really good. What do you rate it? Oh. Scale of 1 to 10. Yep. For cheese popcorn, which I love, I mean, that's a definite eight or nine. Oh, man. That's really good. That's really, really good. Mm. Oh, man. Are they your sponsor? You just had some salmon. Go eat all the popcorn, too. <laughs> I did. That's delicious. It is. I like it because it's really cheesy. I'm a cheese guy. Yeah. I love cheese. Just all cheese? Or do you like mm. cheese and, like, caramel mixed? He never had cheese and caramel. He had that? He had that Chicago. I don't know if I had... <laughs> Cheese and are you from Chicago? No, no, no. but my, my mom is from uh, Gary, Indiana, so right next door. Yeah. I'm from Detroit. Oh, okay. You Detroit. Know, Indiana and what? Detroit yes. aren't aren't too far. Gary, that's Michael Jackson's. That is Michael stomping. The ground. last time I was there, um, we went to his old house. I mean, it looked like a shed. Yeah, I couldn't believe how small it was. Tiny. Yeah, wow. really tiny. It was crazy, and the whole family lived in there. Nuts. It was, it was probably. It looked like it was about as big as this. Oh yeah, yeah. It's really small. You know that's, that's crazy. Gary, Indiana has the highest crime rate, even higher than Detroit. Yeah, yeah. I know it was. I know it was number one. Yeah. A couple years ago, I don't know if it's still number one, but it's still up there. Well, you know, Detroit's trying to get that title back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we but, won't be out though. I mean, Gary is pretty much like. I mean, there's nothing here. The steel factory is gone. Like, there's really no jobs. People that live there, they don't even work there. They go to Chicago or neighboring cities. So, wow. Yeah, you know, poverty wow. is high, crime wow. is high. You yep, know, so, that's right. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, so you're from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. Okay, so let us know, um, you know, what was it like growing up in Detroit and how did you transition into acting? Yeah. Acting. Detroit was... Awesome. I was I was in what would be the ghettos of Detroit. Okay. And my parents worked hard to put us through Catholic school oh. because the neighborhoods were very rough. If we went to public school, it would have right. been, I'd be in jail or dead, literally. Wow. So my parents busted their ass to put me and my two brothers through Catholic school. And so from... So Bert, it's all boys. Yeah, yeah, Uh, two older brothers, and from 
birth to 12 years old. I was in Detroit, and then we moved north into the suburbs mm. to, like, a, a smaller town in Michigan, yeah. which was more normal mm. and safe. But Detroit, I think, etched me in, in who who I am at, at, the, at the core. Mm. And as far as acting, my dad pursued acting when we were in Detroit Okay, as a kid. And I'd watch him do community theater. And wow. then they wanted to get us out of the ghetto. So when we moved, he, he gave it up. Mm. And I think maybe subconsciously or seeing it, I, I had a, an affliction, a predilection for entertainment and acting. Mm. I actually loved magic when I was a kid. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. I just studied. I stayed in my room and just studied magic nonstop. Oh, that's dope. And then when I was... You know, I think 16, 17, I wanted to pursue acting, but then I was in the middle of nowhere. Right. I was two hours from Detroit. Right. So what what city is that? What city were you in? It's actually called Croswell, Lexington. Croswell, Lexington. Well, there's Lexington, then there's Croswell, oh, and okay. I lived in both. They okay, were, right next door, yeah. Yeah, right next door. It's outside of Port Huron. Okay, okay. Which is, people have heard of Port Huron, they never heard of. So right. It literally went from... It would be the equivalent of, I don't want to say Compton, but pretty close to it. Okay, okay. To cows and horses. Mm. So Palos Verdes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even, even, I mean, country. Well, okay. no, no, you're talking like Bakersfield type deal. Yeah, yeah. There, was, there was no McDonald's, there was no dollar store. Oh, yeah, 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 when yeah. I say there was, you could literally leave your door unlocked. There was zero oh, wow. crime. Mm. Just... Country and this is ninety four. Was it like houses like two miles away from each other, like that type of deal? Oh yeah, some. Yeah. 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 We were on um we were on a city street and we had neighbors, but I mean, going from the ghettos of Detroit to there was just a shell shock. Right. Yeah. right. You know, because it'd always be the thing of like Gunshots, and right, 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 shit like that. Right. Even in Catholic school, we were getting into fights every day. Right. Mm. Our Catholic school was probably just as bad as most public schools, wow. if not worse. Yeah, you know. Wow. And uh, but all that shapes shapes you. At least it did me. As a kid, you go, man. I wish I wish my parents had more money. Mm. I wish we could afford that and that. We were running through fire hydrants. Or getting just sprayed with a water hose. Right, like, right. There was no... No water guns, no... No, <laughs> no, no, really. I mean, it was, it was, it was poverty. And yeah. then, but that, I think, personally, it's not a choice you get to make. But for me, and looking back in retrospect, that, that is where the talent comes from. That's yeah. how you get the temptations. Yeah. Stevie Wonder. Right. Any, any, most people that have accomplished great things at least definitely in the arts like there's it's like it's poor pain, it's pain michael jackson gary yeah. indiana right. yeah. i mean there was right. 15 people in one house yep. yep yep you know yeah i mean it really comes from that pain right like mm -hmm. there's that struggle and, and that's where you get that grind from and, yeah you know out of that it just comes like you know a diamond you know out the rough yeah it's much. the same in the fight game mm -hmm. yeah most thing, because if you just have it easy, if I would have had it easy, I would have been just another. It would have been boring. Square white boy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It would have been boring. There's too yeah. many of those. Yeah. The world too doesn't many. need more square white boys. <laughs> the world does not need more square. <laughs> That's so funny. But it ties into acting, believe it or not. Yeah. And my agent said something to me. When I first moved here, I had an agent and I met with her and. I, I went in in a nice button up and I, I shaved clean and parted my hair to the side, which is another thing because I was trying to mm -hmm. stifle who I really was. Yeah. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the way, it was, it, even as a kid, it'd be because I was dancing and I was, you know, I, mm -hmm. I had swag or whatever. And then people said, What do you think? You're black. Mm -hmm. So then you, you get, yeah. It's, yeah. well, let me be a square. Uh, Maybe that. Crisis, right. Right, really. <laughs> right. You know? Right. And when I went to my first meeting with this agent, I just, you know, I thought I'll be what I think she wants me to be. Right. And I do the scene and 
didn't hear from her, and I reach out to her, and she says, um, no, I, you know, I got more people like you, which you hear a lot. You know, mm. there's, I, I have a roster, and we got other people. Okay, fine. Then, six months go by. Kind of a crazy story, yeah. but I'll tell it anyways. This is when you're in L.A., right? Yes. Now you're in L.A., and what age is this? Age? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you now, or then? <laughs> Well, I, what, what year was it? What year, what year was it? Yeah. This was 10 years ago. Okay. 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 This okay. was 10 years ago. Okay. okay. And right when I moved here. <clears throat> so six months go by, I just meditated. Mm. And I'm into not extreme woo-woo, mm. but I'm into manifesting. I think we yeah. manifest our lives. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. And I meditated. Something told me. Just reach out to her again. Literally. I get it from my meditation. I email her. And she says, meet me tomorrow. Come to my office. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. And then she says. That's that magic you was working on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's that magic. <laughs> yeah. It, it feels like magic. When I tell you this, you'll think so. Mm. So I go to her office and she says. I had a dream about you last night. Mm. I said, do tell. <laughs> she says, you didn't. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because <laughs> uh, my, my first reaction would have been like, was it moist? <laughs> right. You're horrible. Yeah. I know. I mean, I was thinking. <laughs> right, right. I, I was thinking like, oh. but she says, I had a dream about you. And I woke up and told my husband. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. So it wasn't that good. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't obviously. that kind of dream. <laughs> it wasn't that kind of dream. She says, I, wo I, I woke up and I told my husband, I had a dream about you. And he says, you better sign that guy. Mm. Mm. Literally, this is in the same day. It isn't like, oh, a week ago. So I go to the office and I sent her a newer demo reel that I made. And she goes, I need this guy. Mm. She pulls up a... A clip from something I did and I had a beard and it was a movie I made in Detroit where I'm gritty she goes you came in here looking like a fucking fresh off the bus white boy from Ohio I don't need that I want this Eminem swagged out <laughs> I don't have it and I'm like oh that eight miles I don't right boy. <laughs> and those were her exact words and yeah. I was like and then when I so you know I got new headshots and I did the scruff and I did and then it took off wow and that ties into, you know, I mean, there will be a time to where it's like, yeah, okay, give me a suit and I can clean mm -hmm. it up. But, I mean, who the fuck am I going to, as an actor, you have to step back and go, who am I and what am I bringing to the table? Not yeah. what do I want to be. Right, right. right. right? Mm -hmm. I can't fucking compete with the, your, your Zac Efron or your, your Tom Holland's. Like, those are a type. And you have to go, how am I perceived? But what, what am I and where do I, where do I fit where in? Fit what in? the fuck right. am I selling here? Right. Right? Terry Crews isn't trying to be Denzel. Right. So you go, well, fuck, this dude's huge and jacked and shredded. Do that. Right. Yeah. And when I did that, it took off. And, it, it, and it, so many actors are like, oh, I want to play the, the lawyer. Or the, and that's yeah. fine. Right. Right. But... I would be doing myself a disservice if I'm like, oh no, I want to be the, I want to be like a pretty boy. What? It's like, dude, you can't fucking win that. Yeah, yeah you can't, yeah. and you have to know that. Right, right. So where where are you? Yeah, you know, if I'm the I'm the blue collar guy that people can relate to. Right, right. Like, oh, it looks like he'd work on my car, or he'd be a cop or a soldier, and sometimes it's like, man, fuck, I don't want to wear a badge and keep wearing them. <laughs> but at the same time, it's work and they'll always need cops. Right. right. You know, and those, are, to me, are the good roles. Mm. Right? Sometimes I go, it'd be cool to be a doctor. Yeah. Maybe I'm like a pediatrician. Mm. That'd You're be... right. But let fucking George Clooney have that. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah. Dude, do you feel like be, because you're you're looked at that way, do you feel like it stifles like your creativity and like in the type of roles that that you may want to pursue? Going, looking within, 
And my wife said something to me the other day because I make a lot of my own stuff. Right. I said, I'm going to do something. I'm getting, I'm getting stagnant. I have to do something. And we just moved into like a new studio and stuff. And I, I designed yes. it in mind with filming. We, you know, we film demo reels for actors that don't have material. So. And I said something. She goes, why do you, why does it always have to be dark with you? Mm. You know, I got a, my daughter's a year and a half now. And she's like, can't you do something? Well, that she would watch. And I, yeah, but not right now. I mean, what am I going to go shoot? Blue's Clues? <laughs> and, and I mean, that's what she watches. And yeah. I do want that. Right. But, and I, I say this to actors a lot, and I'm sure you can relate, even you as a producer, what do you know? What's your shadow? Hmm. Right? What, what is your shadow? We're all, we have a persona that we put on right. to get along. Right, I just, right. just want to get along, you know, but what the fuck are you hmm. really? And what's in the fucking basement? That you wouldn't even like tell your best friend. You hesitate to tell a therapist. That's where the good shit is, mm. yeah. right? Mm. If you acted out your fantasies or said what you really thought, people would think you're fucking crazy. Mm. But that's the good stuff. Yeah, that's how you get your Nipsey. Right, that's how you get your Tupac. I think we need to know our type, and that—that that is where the gold is. Right, right, and Carl Jung would always talk about the shadow. There's a lot of parallels, and I talk about it in some of my acting classes, depending on the material. There's a lot of parallels between psychology and acting. Mm. Right? And life is psychology, and what we're doing and what we're recreating. But Carl Jung would always talk about the shadow, and he had a saying, it's in Latin, I'll try not to butcher it, inster quilinus inventor. Mm. Inster quilinus inventor, yeah. And it means in filth you will find it. And he's talking about the shadow. He said, in filth. In filth, you will find it. You will find it. Basically, what you need the most is lying where you least want to look. Mm -hmm. Now, when we see a Joaquin Phoenix and a Philip Seymour Hoffman and a Benicio Del Toro and Denzel and Viola and these actors, that like, man, that's fucking good. How the fuck did he go from Malcolm X to training day? Now... Not everyone, and I'm not talking about being method. But, and I promise this will tie into your question. For me, those are the roles that speak to people. Right. Mm. A lot of those boring roles, we're not, we're not moved by the fucking plain Jane doctor or just squeaky clean, right? We don't, yeah. when we go to the movies, I like Joel Osteen. Right. I'm not fucking paying 40 bucks to watch... Joel Osteen. In the theaters, right. Yeah, I mean, I want to see, like, no, dude, rob the fucking bank, bro. Right. He cut you off, shoot that fucking yeah. guy. That's my <laughs> shadow, yeah. right? And if you ask someone, what movies do you like, you'll know their shadow. Mm. I like Heat. I like The Town. Mm. I like, mm. oh, gr- like gritty blue-collar shit because it's in my blood. Right, mm. right. Drug dealer movies and, and... Oh, I like those movies, too. But that's my childhood. Right, right. Right, and my, so my wife, she's Lebanese, she'll say, like... <sighs> Why do you, it's like, we grew up in two totally different fucking, that's my blood. Right. And you look at a show like Dahmer, and if people are being honest, actors, or any, in general, like, what speaks to you? What do you like? Most people are just going to fucking lie. Right. Mm. But when actors are alone, one-on-one, and you say, look, man, I'm not here to fucking judge you. What's up, man? What's the shadow? What the fuck's going on? What are you... Boom. Okay, that's where it's at. Mm. And when you give actors... It's all about permission, right? To tap into those places. To tap in those places and go, I'm not being... Most acting classes are bullshit. And I'll sum up your question to answer it because it's important that I do. But for me, I I I can bring something... I realize now the stuff I was ashamed of as a kid is fucking gold. Mm. If I told people my real story, they'd go, get the fuck out of here, dude. Mm. Yeah, fucking, no, that's it. And there's people that'd be like, I would pay to have that life. But as a kid, I'm trying to get out of it, Mm. right? The heat's off. Oh, open the oven and turn it on. There's no hot water. Fucking boil that shit, Right. right? Welfare, 
food stamps, roaches. It's like, nah, that's, dude, cool. Right. right. I, can, I can relate. And allows, it allows me to relate. I can go to areas maybe that other people can't go to. Right. And pull it off, right? I can go to some ghettos and be like, eh, he's probably from here or he's a good undercover cop. Don't right, fuck him. Right, right. That's worth its weight in gold if I have to go somewhere. Yes, yeah. And as an actor, you need that, mm. right? Yeah. If I'm like just, I, I went to Juilliard and my... My dad was a politician, and I wanted to be an actor. And they're like, cool, well, you're playing uh, Eminem's homie from 8 Mile. What the fuck do you do? <laughs> what do you do, right? And you put some fucking Timbos on, and you're like, <laughs> what are they? these aren't tied, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's easier for me to, I could play the role of a square easier than, they can play the right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's been yeah. through it, right. But you, I didn't realize until now, you look back and go, oh, fuck, that was genius. Mm. Those those characters I met in the ghetto in, in, that are in my family, that's an unlimited supply of, oh, that was good. I'm going to fucking steal that. Mm. Right. Dude, what's he? Oh, I'm fucking stealing that. <laughs> that His shoelaces are plastic bags. <laughs> I was in the ghetto, and this dude came rolling up on a bike. He didn't have any shoestrings. He had, someone's going to fucking steal this. I shouldn't even say it. <laughs> I meant to do this. It's going to be on a movie. It is. Someone's going to fucking steal this. Right. I but I'll say it anyways. You heard it here. Yeah. He had plastic bags, grocery bags, for shoestrings. Shit. And I was like, now, who the fuck would come up? You'd have to be in the ghetto to go. Right, right. Dude, that's, you can't make that shit up. Right. Right? And then that's what happens. You don't have any shoestrings. And he just stretched the plastic white bag and used it. I was like, that's fucking that's crazy. genius. But you need to go out and, right. you know, get in, the, get in the gutters and see what's going on, man. What You have to. Yeah. And that ties into when we see something like, why is Dahmer the number one show? Mm. Why is Fifty Shades of Grey? No one's going to admit it. Why is that the number one show or like sex life? And it's like people are tuning in to watch her cheat on her husband with this. Oh, so maybe that's what the fuck is. Right, right. But it's the shadow. It's the shadow. Yeah. Right? The shadow in me sees the shadow in you. That that's, wow. speaks that's to us. You have to. Now, you can lie all the fuck you want. But until as an actor, you go, it's what it is, man. You know what I mean? That's, I don't know. It's what the fuck I'm into, bro. We just. I don't know, fucking da 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 da. Right. You have to get to a point to where you can just loosen up and be like, it is what it is, man. You don't fucking like it, fuck you. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that in most acting classes. Mm -hmm. No one's going to get up in front of 10 people and be like, yeah, I did X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? When I was a, when right, I was 15, right. I used to do this and that, man. And then, you know, times was tight and fucking da 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 da. Right. You know, my uncle did this and, you know, that's what it is. No one wants to do that in front of it. And it, especially out here in, in LA and where we're going with, like, don't do that. Don't say that. Don't. Right. No, nah, man. You should get up. Yeah. yeah. You should be able to get up in front of class and just what you're literally doing. I had this conversation the other day. Now, there's two different types of acting. There's the, you know, just show up, hit your mark, and it's very formulaic. And sometimes that's where the money's made. Mm. Your law and order, you're the rookie and right, shit right. like that. I mean, it's like, we ain't doing a lot of shadow work. Right. It's a fucking paycheck. You show up, you, I don't need to like, I wouldn't have this conversation with myself. It'll, I, but maybe if it is something like Dahmer or, uh, or the rookie, I go, I'm going to make this a different kind of cop. Mm. You know, maybe I will just add a little something. But for the most part, it's all technical. Right. Right. But for the good shit, again, your you're Joaquin, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Brian Cranston, Viola, Denzel, those people with depth and, you know, with, with Denzel going from Malcolm X to Training Day to this, and Denzel can play a square or yeah. like, right. dude, that motherfucker is hood as fuck. Or a politician, you go, wait. You have to tap into that in you and give yourself complete permission. And it's, that's my gripe with a lot of acting studios is you can't do that. You're, it's the equivalent of 
look, man, there's 100 people here. You never met them. Get up there. Get naked. Turn around and spread your ass cheeks. You go, I ain't fucking doing that. Well, then you can't honestly bring yourself to the role. Mm -hmm. I'm agreeing, like, dude, I signed up for this. It is what it is, man. I'm going to get fucking dirty. If that's the role, like, I got to show you my soul. And you go, oh, shit, I didn't fucking expect that. Mm. Dude, what? But <laughs> right. I need you. It is. It, I need you to experience that. It's my job to speak to you and go, fuck that. Yeah, that's in me. Shit. Oh, shit. Mm. What the fuck? Oh, damn. You know? Why do people like Dahmer? Me, I checked out on it. Mm. It doesn't speak to my shadow. I'm like, dude, animal cruelty and shit. And yeah. It's like getting a little fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I tapped out too. I After the first it. episode. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Oh, no. I watched it for a while, but it, I tapped out eventually. I, I tapped out quick, but yeah. it doesn't. That's not my shadow. Yeah, that's yeah. Not my shadow. That's not my shadow. My shadow would be. I don't want to fucking snitch on myself when anything happens. <laughs> Your wife's gonna watch this like what the. <laughs> <clears throat> my shadow would be like, if I wasn't an actor, yeah, I'd probably be fucking uh, like some shit in the town or something. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's that's where I I come from. Man. Right. It's like. Right. You know, and it's like when you're in the ghetto, we were, my first hustle was, no lie, in Catholic school. Me and my brother, we couldn't even afford quarter chips. You go to Catholic school, it's like, my mom was working in a bakery and my dad was doing construction. Yeah. Mm. To put three kids through Catholic school and it was. A lot of money. You yeah. know, a lot of money. Oh, so it's yeah. like a quarter for chips, ain't got it, bro. Ain't got it. So me and my brother would. So it's when uh, Real Motherfucking G's came out. Easy E. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hand to God. We'd go, I'm Michigan Line, you Southwest Detroit. We'd go down to the dollar store and get three cassettes for a buck. Record that shit off the, off the radio, off the radio. Go to school the next day. Sell Real Motherfucking G's to the kids so we what? can get chips. And then we'd take that buck. You know, arbitrage. Go back, get another. And that was my first hustle. Oh, Damn. Was wow. is like an eight year old kid in the ghetto selling real money. I, I couldn't real even fucking. That's crazy. That and but and, and that's just what we had to do. We were always like looking, right? I remember <laughs> my grandpa was in the hospital. I never told the story. It's a cool fucking story. Um <laughs> My grandpa was in the hospital, and there was like a, a Pac-Man game in the cafeteria. Mm. And my brother James, who's 16 months older than me, uh, he's like, dude, there's a fucking hole in this arcade game. So he goes and gets a piece of chewing gum and a fucking straw, and he's just fucking taking all the quarters. And he had like fucking 10 bucks and quarters. Are and you he, serious? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's what it, it was just one piece at a time. He put gum on the end of a plastic straw. And it'll Take stick it. to the and court. It'll stick it to it. <laughs> well, we were little ghetto kids, and it's like, dude, that's a fucking ton of barbecue. That's a hit. Better that's made chips, right man. Right. <laughs> it is a wow. Lick. That is a lick right there. <laughs> it, it is a lick. But that was just, you can't, my daughter ain't going to have that. Right, right, Maybe right. genetically, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But my parents were hustlers, go-getters, and it's. And then you, I'm in an environment to where it's like, you want that, bro? You better fucking figure it out. Right, right. You better figure it out. Right. Somehow, some way. And that's what we had to do, you know? Wow. Damn. Okay, okay. That's but that's sweet. the stuff that speaks to me. So when I right. see that, I go, my wife might go, why do you like people robbing banks and dealing drugs? My fucking uncle was a drug dealer. <laughs> You, you can, can relate. Tell, you, you can easily yeah. tap into it. Yeah. yeah. Tap into it. To I me, that's the, that's the good stuff. I get you. But in acting class, you can't, you, most of these acting classes, you can't be yourself. Right. You say one fucking thing that doesn't go with the teacher's agenda. Right, right, or it's right. like, then, then it's wrong. Right? Yeah. It could be anything. You're so right. It could be anything. And you, you can imagine what I'm thinking. Really? <laughs> you know, really? And, and that's the reason why I don't like look forward to my acting classes, especially over Zoom or, I mean, in person. I just don't look forward to it because I feel like I can't be myself. That's an issue. 
Yeah, mm. I can't really be like my full self, you know, especially not in, because of all the students, but also because of the teacher. Yeah, the teacher you know? doesn't, right? The, 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 most of these teachers will sit there on their high horse, and that's a whole nother fucking thing. They don't even mm. stand up. Most of the teachers don't even fucking have talent. Yeah. That's mm. a, a whole nother thing. Right. But in class, you go, I don't trust that, that motherfucker. I think he's a... He could be recording on his phone, or she's a, you know what I mean? And then, you know, some some actress is going to, or actor is going to get up there and say, uh, oh, yeah, my uncle molested me when I was six, and I went through foster care. Who the fuck wants to say that in front of 15 people? Right. You know she don't like you. She might be talking shit, mm. and then, or you, you might get up there and go, I'm sick of fucking white people, cracker ass crackers, <laughs> and you go, cool. Mm. Yeah. I need to go. That's cool. Mm. you could do that in my class yeah and people go no it, i've fucking heard it all yeah. that's the point and people have tried to like oh this will get them nothing it doesn't yeah. you don't know who you're talking to man right, right, right and you need to and people have told me stuff that they would deem far out and i go man that's right. child's play it don't as long as you're being honest mm. right as long as you're being honest otherwise you are stifling your creativity mm. So, so you have people kind of show their true emotions, kind of show their shadow in order to kind of tap into that, to that pain for that creativity? Like for me, that's where the great, and even if it is in pain, it's fear. It goes back to that Carl Jung and filth, you will find it. Mm. Because what you're trying essentially to do is just be free. Mm. Stanislavski said you're being private in public. Well, what the fuck do we do in private? <laughs> Right? Yeah. And yeah. it's like, oh, no, you would do that? No, you fucking picked the booger, rolled it, and threw it. All right. <laughs> fucking do it. Do it in front of these three Victoria's Secret models. You won't? That's an issue. Right, right. Right? That's what acting is. Mm. That's what acting is. And sure, most of it isn't, most of the stuff we get and that I've done isn't like good, deep shit. It's like, uh, hit the fucking mark, say the line, and get the fuck out of here. Mm. That's technique. But, Tapping into your shadow and giving yourself permission. I go around to, in my classes, and I say to people, what are you insecure about? Um, I, I wish I was taught. You're fucking lying. You're lying. Then after six times and someone does admit it, I guess it would be, and I go, here it comes, I guess. Right. I guess, and they'll go, I guess my nose is too big. You fucking knew it was your nose. <laughs> right, right. You knew it was your nose. Yeah. So I'll say, if you, if you had... If you could get plastic surgery and there's one thing you could fix and it's free, what are you going to fix? Oh, it'd be X. There you go. But most people, like, you struggle to, because right. I don't want anyone to know, like, oh, uh. and believe it or not, that's freeing. But most people, you won't do that in an acting class of 50 people. And the minute you can't be yourself in an acting class, you're wasting your fucking money. Mm. You're wasting your money. Yeah. You need to be up. I had a... a uh, theater professor, great guy, George Popovich. When I made my first movie, I was like, God, do you think that's fucking too much? He said, if you didn't offend anyone, you didn't do your job. Mm. You gotta be willing to be offended. Because that's the good shit anyways. Mm. Right? You were gonna ask me something and then I... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you could. Um, no, I already asked you. No, I asked you. Because I, I was wondering, like, like why you want people to be so so vulnerable like in the acting class but yeah vulnerability is, is the it. essence of mm -hmm. great acting when we see you see Joaquin Phoenix's Joker mm -hmm. and you see Jared Leto's I go well, one's a caricature right. when I see Joaquin Phoenix I go that's me right right and most of us go yeah that's those dudes are picking on a girl on a subway right shoot them motherfuckers right right our clean cerebral cortex goes, you'll go to jail, turn the other cheek. <laughs> what would Jesus do? No, I don't want to see what Jesus That's would not do. the godly mm. way. I don't want to see what Jesus would do. Right. I want to see what I would do. Mm. Yeah. Shoot them motherfuckers. Mm. That's, that first instinct, that's why Meisner says, act before you think. Because mm. your impulse is more honest than your, your thoughts. Mm. Right? So you think... Boom. That's what acting is. Okay. It's the shit that would get us in trouble in right. normal life. Exactly. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Hey, what the fuck you doing, motherfucker? Move. Right. And 
it's like, well, I'm, I'm not even going to do that because then he might have a gun and I'm in the wrong spot. And <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek. Lest right, I right, go right. to jail. Yeah. Right. Or get sued. But that's what acting is, right? It's those impulses. And you have to be open and vulnerable and go, I'm not, well, I'm a, I'm a man. I'm an alpha male. And uh, we don't fucking cry. Mm. You take it on the chin. Mm. No, you you need to be willing to. You're a you're a mold, mm. right? But so much damage is is done from the time we're kids. Yep. And then we go through a stage and we. Now I'm calloused, and no one will ever fucking hurt me again. Right. And they won't see me cry. And but then you become an automaton, and people can't relate to that. Mm. Right, which is why I think, I know, I take a liking to, I told someone this the other day, an actor, I don't like clean fucking, I don't trust squeaky clean, first of all, right? As much as I love like Joel Osteen, I'm like, nah, where's the dirt? Right, kind of right. fucking porn you watch, right. bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For real. Like, dude, you don't jack off. Bullshit. Bullshit. I can't. I can't. You picking on Joel Osteen? <laughs> I like Joel Osteen. I like Joel Osteen. Right, right. Oh man, put me on a Joel Osteen. I saw Joel Osteen live in Anaheim. Oh, okay, okay. But I don't. That's probably why I pick him. When it's squeaky clean like that, I don't. Yeah. I I, I like street profits. Right, right. So I'll stop and chop it up with like a homeless person and be like, "What what advice would you give me?" Or da 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 da. Right. Those right. are the dudes. To learn from, right, right. I can relate to that. Right, you shot, you shot. You yeah. wish you didn't shoot dope. That's cool. Thanks for being honest. Right, yeah. not like oh, nothing to see here. Everything's perfect. Right. Nah, bullshit. Bullshit. Right. Bullshit. Those are always the ones that are. You know what I mean. So I yeah. trust people to be like, yeah, these are my flaws, man. I got some shit I'm working on, and fucking, you know what I mean. I'm yeah. trying to, you know, I fucking yeah, I'm I'm in shape, but I went through a period to where I'd eat the food and then throw it up. It's like okay, right, you right. get it. Right, right. Not I only eat chicken and rice, and then no, I tell like my steamed vegetables. Yeah, yeah. it's like nah, I'm bullshit. You don't have any sugar cravings? No, I don't. Bullshit. Right. Well, I do. Right. And how do I kick them? Right. You know. Right. So I just I think it's again it's a realness, but we get so caught up in the persona. Yeah. How we perceived. are you cold? No, I'm just like getting real comfortable because <laughs> I'm listening to you. Like I'm taking it all in. We have to ride that line between. And we can't, I tell actors, not doesn't mean you go to Starbucks and, yeah. you know, hey, motherfucker, I said six Splenda. <laughs> but that would be a good acting exercise. Right, right. Right, because in life, we just, again, out here in, in, in New York or Detroit on the East Coast, it's more, hey, my man, you can't park, what the fuck are you doing? You can't right, park. Right. It's like, oh, shit, this right, is all right. shadow. <laughs> right, but out here, it'd be, um, uh, you know, my... My wife's name's Yasmin. It's Lebanese. Yeah. And then she'll just say, oh, just Jasmine, because I'll fuck it up. No. No, 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 no. It's Yasmin. Right, right. That's go, it. Right? What's that? We tend to let things go. More yeah. Here. And yeah. look, you have to pick your battles. Yeah. But it starts, I tell actors with, you know, that's how we get caught up in an actor voice and every, everything, especially with women actresses, everything will start being here and it's really obsequious and apologetic. Mm. And, oh, um, and I... Tell actors this. Watch in a restaurant, or you next time. Maybe you do this. Oh, can I get another Diet Coke? Can I? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry. Like you're doing. I'm the sorry. Most sorry. By uh, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I hate when women do that. I tell and I tell my wife, don't do that because I don't want our daughter doing that. And don't. Why are you apologizing? Right. We're gonna tip him great. Right. It doesn't mean we're gonna be rude. How you doing, my man? You having a good day? Hey, can I get another Diet Coke? No. Can I get? Uh, when you get a sec. That trickles in to everything. And then you, you go to act and it's like, I can't say, hey, hey, get out of the fucking car. Right. It's like, but, oh, I just want you to know in real life, right. I'm not racist. Right. I, <laughs> it's like, whoa, right, we shouldn't right. have to do that. We right. should be able to chop it up and do our thing. Right. Dude, they got fucking goldfish at Crafty, bro. And, uh, action. Get out of the car. Boom. Right. Done. But we get so apologetic and then we can't. How do you shake that shit? Mm. I'm very apologetic. Yeah. I am. And it's, I always hear there's a guy in the industry when I used to do craft service all the time and I used to like get in his way sometimes. 
And he used to be like, don't be so-. I used to say, I'm sorry, or I'm sorry. And he's like, don't be sorry, just be you. And yeah. he would say that all the time. And mm-hmm. it, hit, it hit me. I was just like, wow, I do apologize a lot. Mm-hmm. And it's hitting home right now what you're talking about because my husband, he's from the East Coast, you know. And when he talks and when we communicate or say we're in a restaurant, he's very like, can I get this or can I get that? And sometimes I look at him, I'm like, you're kind of mean when you ask for things, you know. But me... I'm more like, I do do that. I'm like, hi, I'm so sorry. Can I get, you know, I like yeah. apologize before right. I ask for things. Right. Trying to be polite. Yeah. You know, not that I'm being sorry, but I'm just trying to be a lot more polite because you never know. I'm always like aware of like how people feel. You know, you never know what type of. Exactly. You know, you know but I'd it say. doesn't have to be binary. That's where no. we go. Uh, it's either uh, you're a total bitch or <laughs> you're a doormat. Right. No, right. it doesn't right. have to be. Yeah. It could be, you know, I think charisma gets misconstrued with like, oh, people pleasing. Right. Or mm-hmm. genuflecting or he's, so right. he's milk toast. Yep. Right. You could be. Man, your, your vocabulary is out of this world. I just so want you to know that. Nah, I probably just fucking stole it from podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan just keeps it 100. I just read a lot of <laughs> scripts and I'm like, okay. Yeah. What does like that, that mean? Right. And my dad would always tell us this. Get, look it up. Dad, what does this mean? Look it up. Right, right. Ah, shit. But then it forces you. So now, I just look it up. Right. Look it up. Yeah. My wife will ask me something. That's so said, good. Look it up. Yeah. And You're always learning. Yeah. You, you, always learning. Yeah. But it doesn't... It, like Tom Cruise, think of what, what you want about him. He's highly charismatic. Right. You know? But he's... You're not gonna, like... He's not a pushover. Right. You know? Same yeah. with... I'm sure Joel Osteen. <laughs> right. Or, right, right. or Bill, you know, some some politicians. Yeah. You know? I bet Joel Osteen is a fucking asshole. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Now you're like, talking just, about Joel Osteen. Bro, you're, you, you're not, you're not going to run. <laughs> That's great, dude. That, that hefty ass business and not be a fucking asshole. At the end of the day. Yeah, I'm sure he's firm. Yeah. Right? But yeah. then again, Wait, but so was Christ. If you're firm, you're an asshole? Right? No, I That's think what he, we're talking about right nah, now. No, I, th- I think he's an asshole, though. Because it, it's, it's just too... It's too... I wonder. Hey, it's, God, I don't know anyone that knows him. He's out of love. Yeah. He's here. He's, you know, nah, it's just Yeah, too, when it's 100% all the time, you got to want, like, you know... Like, nah, I mean, this... If he one day said, hey, shut the fuck up. Right, I'm right. Preaching. He'd probably talk like that to his wife. I think he did. <laughs> Joe his Osteen wife? might be a dog. <laughs> We gotta edit this. To Victoria. Uh, no, nah, I fucks with Joe Osteen. He's, he's dope. He's dope. I like watching the sermon sometimes. He's pretty. Dope. Yeah, but no, it does. It does make you uh, make you wonder. But it does trickle into acting mm-hmm. because it's hard to shake. And then you get a scene, and it's oh hey, and everything's here. Right, right. Everything, and it uh, it doesn't mean in life you have to be right. Yeah. I go to Starbucks. Name Jonathan. John. Jonathan. But. It, no, it doesn't mean I have to do that all the time, but it's it's practice for mm. not apologizing when you walk in the room, even for a self-tape. Yeah. Mm. You're fucking paying me. And actors will go, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Right, right. fucking here because you're paying me. Right, right. <laughs> Why are you apologizing to me? It's funny. Sometimes, like, when I have sessions, especially, like, with female artists, like, I'll have sessions and they'll mess up. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Can we, can we do it? I'm like, yeah, we can... We gonna get it. Like, you don't have to say sorry. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. you paying your time. We gonna we here for three hours. We gonna get it. Like, yeah. Now, if it was like a thing to where, uh, maybe an actor, I'm giving them a freebie and they don't have their lines memorized. Yeah, you should be. Oh yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving you a free session and you didn't. You showed up late and right, didn't right. have the not prepared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though, like, I mean, that's another uh, uh, a courtesy thing. Right. I did my thing in ways to say how far are they. Now I show up at 11, how can I be there 15 minutes early, even though I was five minutes early? But it's a courteous yeah. thing. It's not a fuck you to, nah, they'll wait. Right, right, you right. You know, there's, right. A, there's a difference be opposed to, no, nah, I'm the fucking man on set or whoever you are, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make them wait. Then you're just a fucking dick. Right. You can show up early and still be professional and, hey, can I get a breakfast burrito? Thanks, man. Right, right, right. Can I get, no, it's okay. You don't have any, it's... <laughs> We have to incorporate, but then again, that's incorporating 
our shadow. Yeah. Right? I'm not as I'm I'm playing armchair expert, but it does. I just see it with actors so much, and what limits them, yeah. right? Because we're all trying to get a job and do everything right. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Yeah. Who are you? Just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do your work, but you know, don't. I study like a motherfucker, and I know my lines, and I will control everything yeah. to make it as good as it can be. Right. Mm-hmm. But I don't give a fuck if I get the job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. You can't you can't fucking plead your way into a into an acting gig. Yeah. What um what made you get into coaching? Because you have your uh business hot shot self taping, right? Yeah. Um what made you want to become a coach? Um when I started <clears throat> opened hot shots ten years ago, right when I moved here. And oh, then wow, okay. I started seeing a ton of auditions and I Studied a fair amount. I started in theater and studied Meisner and Strasberg and all these methods. And then having seen so many auditions, and then you see the good actors and the not so good actors. Mm. And you're like, there's a lot of that's a lot of commonalities between what the great actors and working actors are doing and the shitty actors. And then mm. you start. Hot Shots for me, mixed with my life, was the best acting class. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't mean that every other acting class is nonsense because there are things that will, you know, help. Mm -hmm. But when I, the more auditions, and now I've seen, I don't, uh, God knows how many tens of thousands of auditions, you develop a, a database of, intel to where you go oh no everyone does this don't fucking do that right. and you just see these cliche ubiquitous choices that actors make i don't know where they get them from a lot of it's from watching bad tv and it's like oh you watch a lot of nickelodeon or multicam <laughs> or cw and now you have these man you hating on the cw now man come on man. i love all american man not hating on it but what happens I'm a big is, riverdale fan man <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you watching Riverdale. Man. <laughs> I just can't see it. But imagine, if me and you hang out for every day for a year, yeah. we're going to start yeah, talking yeah. alike and doing yeah, things alike. Definitely. And our hearts will sink and then we'll start breathing alike. <laughs> Something's going on in here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? what's funny and no I did just have a thought though like when um I'm digressing just a tad but when women hang out and their cycles become the same yeah. imagine what happens when you hang out with actors and you start picking up on their tics right and that's what happens so actors I know I went off on a tangent yeah actors have these myself included these idiosyncrasies we pick up on from other people and watching tv and it gets in our subconscious yeah. and actors then would come to me and say, hey, what do you, th-? and I'd give them notes, and then I was like, oh, fuck, I'm, where do you coach? Who do you study with? Oh, so-and-so, and it's this much. What the fuck? Yeah. Holy hell. Mm. And they, you can't even, they didn't even tell you this? Right. And then I started coaching actors, and they started having great success, and I would drop in, and occasionally I drop in and audit a class of a guru that charges mm. some astronomical amount, and I'll audit the class just to see, like, what's what. And be like, what the fuck are they doing? Because mm. yeah. every day some actor comes to me. I'm studying some, And they didn't tell you this. Like, that's the basic. They didn't mm. even fucking tell you this. Mm. Holy shit. Yeah. Right? Because it's its own art form. Right. Auditioning. Right. You're, it's only you on camera. It's a one It's very. It's very methodical. And so much goes into it. Mm. And a lot of acting teachers don't, this is, my gripe is, I will tell my students at any given point, give me your scene. And I teach an on-camera class because what we do is on-camera. I started in theater. It's a totally different medium. The stage reads actions. The camera reads thoughts. Even a a looser frame. I need to know, like, what's my frame, bro? Can I move my hand here? Right? And the camera's there. So if the camera's there, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Mm. You need to know that stuff. Now, I don't have a method mm. because 
as Jack Nicholson said, anything that works, that's the method. Sometimes mm. it's easy, and I say, oh, no, just stick your hand on go, hey, don't do that. Yeah. And they, right, and then, okay, now change it, change the line. Stick your hand out and say the line, and that's done. There's no, we can get caught up in, like, substitution, mm. and some people can get so caught up in the trauma, right, mm-hmm. right to where we go, look, we all have fucked up childhoods. Yeah. David Mamet said, no one with a normal childhood goes, goes into entertainment. <laughs> you realize that after he's right. right. Because right. we all have something. Right. Yep. Right. Or a lot. And we go, that makes me unique. Mm. Right. My parents were divorced and my dad was an alcoholic and I seen him punch my mom. Oh, give me the damn script. <laughs> <laughs> it starts coming out. Right. Oh, and it's, but then when you're a hammer, everything's a nail. Yeah. And then there's teachers that just do that. And it's like, yeah, um, your alcoholic dad isn't going to help you tell Ice T that there's a dead body by the dumpster. All right. So walk. That's where technique comes in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Walk in, hit the mark. The camera's here. Say the line, and when you get the fuck out. Mm. But then an acting teacher might go, "Well, who's your substitution for Ice T?" No, 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 no. Or I can teach a whole class for a fucking year and never say objective motivation. What do you want? That's like, you read that in a fucking book and you're going to keep saying that? Mm. And that's, that's my gripe. And you got these Instagram teachers now and they give notes. No, fuck that. Show me. Mm. That's why I put my stuff out there. Mm. It's like, no, I'll show you. Give it, give it to me. You got Shakespeare? Give me the fucking Shakespeare. Yeah. I will, but I know very few acting teachers that are willing to do that. Mm. I want to know, like, if you're boxing and you're a boxing trainer... Maybe you're not fighting currently. Right. Where can I watch your fights on YouTube? That's it. Yeah. That's yeah. what the fuck I want to see. Not, you've never been in a fight. So you're going to tell me what to do when I get hit in the fucking head and you've never been hit in the head? Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with acting. Right. Most of these acting teachers, I've had them come to me and I've coached them. And then I see them coaching actors now. And I go, what in the fuck? Holy shit. A few. Yeah. And I go, that's... That's fucked. Yeah. You want to call out some name? <laughs> no. <laughs> but they can never do I, it like you, right? Well, I tell like, actors, hand your teacher the fucking scene and say, do it. Mm. Yeah. Do it. Show, just show them how you do it. Yeah. If I was with Brian Cranston or De Niro or Denzel and said, fuck, dude, I'm struggling. Would you just do it for me and show me? Maybe I'll steal it. Just. Yeah. You know, they right. would do it. And you go, okay, I might not be able to do it like that, but thanks. Yeah. Mm. You don't think you could fucking hand Denzel anything and go, hey, in this scene, I'm, I'm pouring iced tea coffee. It, okay, cool. Thanks, bro. But most acting teachers be like, no, you do it. No, 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 no. If mm. your way works, show me. Yeah. Show yeah. me substitution. Yeah. All right, you're walking in, you're robbing this fucking bank. Show me. You mm. can't, that's an issue. Mm. Mm. And most are just like, oh, he studied, or I studied with the person that studied with Meisner, or he was, he was Stella Adler's chauffeur. I don't give a fuck. And how many acting studios now are like, oh, such and such acting studio. Oh, you study with Blase Blase? Right, right. No, I, I study with their gardener. Mm. But the, what the fuck are you doing? Right. Yeah. Right? Right. And you should, you should be able to show that it works. Right. That's a big gripe of mine. There is no scene. I will go out on a limb and say, there's no scene an actor can bring to me that I won't even at least attempt and be like, give me a, I mean, you're just handing me this right, as a cold right. read. Uh, cool. No, no, no. There's not a fucking scene I won't do that with. Hmm. So is that pretty much what you do when you have an actor come in? Do you like always perform their scene? No. Okay. I think that would be very narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. I've got. This. Let me let me, yeah. let me show you what you can do. No, but, but, but sometimes just to be able to. Yeah, sometimes in an on camera class, I'll say, "No, look, just when you walk up, because I'm a, a visual guy. Yeah. yeah, I used to dance a little bit. You okay. know what I mean? So in hip hop dance. Yeah, hip hop okay. dance. You like break dance and shit? Like? Nah, just hip hop oh, okay, dance. Okay, okay, okay. Just a little bit. I was on those um dance shows in Detroit oh, that no. came on after Judge Mathis at two in the morning. Oh. <laughs> No way. <laughs> yeah. Easy to spot me. I'm the only white dude. 
in a fucking Peli Pel jump outfit. That is hilarious. No, no lie. Like I, I had like the the Peli Pel and the Echo, and you see me coming down the. <laughs> boom, 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 ta, ta, ta. No lie, man. Oh, Real that's talk. dope. That's dope. And this was like you know, two thousand one. Two thousands, right, right, right. <laughs> Some girl would text me. Did I just see you on We Be Jamming after Judge <laughs> Mathis? <laughs> Yes, you yes, did. Yeah, baby. Yes, yeah, yeah, doing that's the. Hilarious. Yeah, doing the chicken noodle. We be jamming. Oh, it was called We Be Jamming. Oh. No lie, and I came out in like a green Peli Pel, and you couldn't tell me nothing. That's hilarious. You couldn't tell me nothing. I'd hit a back handspring, and are you was, serious? Yeah, that was it. That's Someone's got that footage. Of. What? <laughs> I was the man of the year back in two thousand one. Hey man, I'm, I'm gonna find it and post I, it on this episode. I, I would, I it would be. You have to. Oh, <laughs> hilarious. That's what's up. And then I came out here and I'm like, oh, I'm I'm what you call a white boy with a rhythm. Mm. There's a different kind out here. Like when you see these, it's like, oh, everyone can dance. That dude's the barista at Starbucks and he just <laughs> learned that in 15 minutes and he's going on tour with Janet Jackson. Right, right, right. And I'm like, nah, that'd take me a week and it still ain't going to look as good. Yeah, yeah. So like, are you still acting? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, not during the strike. Well, no, not during the strike. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's my it's my... It's my main love, passion, if you will. Um, but it all it all ties in. Yeah. Coaching actors, a lot of times, there's times I'd rather be on set with an actor coaching them than be in it, believe it or not. Mm. Mm. So you do on-set coaching also? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a um, celebrity client that when he gets movies, he'll take me. Oh, that's dope. And I said, and that's, I I like that. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want to get in, in front of yeah. the camera right Man, now. You can chill, eat the crafty food, and yeah. relax. And I'm, yeah, I'm when it's time I didn't to. I see you on Jeffrey Dahmer. I was on that You show. probably did. Um, I'm Wait, sure you did. Where were you? What location was it? It was at a studio. I'm almost positive. Was it at Rallies then? I think. At the studio? You know what's weird? I can film all this stuff and then I forget, like you would think. It's hard. I, uh, you forget shows too. Did you, on. you worked on Dahmer? Yeah, but I was oh, a okay. um, crop service. Okay, okay. I was okay. in the truck. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, okay, okay, I'm okay. positive. Yeah. We ran into each other. I just had that. I probably made you a nice coffee or something. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> With the extra cream, six Splenda. <laughs> okay, I think that was you. That you had me. the Splenda? And that mustache. I had that mustache. Oh, I think I do remember you. I think I do. I remember the food truck. I remember hanging yeah. out like and getting my mashed potatoes and rotisserie chicken. <laughs> I always go to Crafty, so I'm sure we met. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I was, yeah. Not everybody gets a Splenda in their iced coffee, that's why. No, I'm that guy. Yeah, you're that guy. Six I'm telling like, oh, you. How many Splenda? Six Splenda? Yes, yes. You know that stuff is cancerous, yes. man. I Not think true. that was you. Not Jonathan. true? Fake lies. Funny. Fake lies? My uh, one of my mentors. Not fake lies, lies. Fake news. Fake what news. did I just say? <laughs> You're right, right, fake lies. <laughs> like, oh, so it's the truth. <laughs> no, my uh, cut that out because you did give me compliments <laughs> on my vocabulary. Now I gotta take it back. He's been exposed. That's one thing he doesn't do is edit. Oh, good. I think it's I think it's great. I didn't say anything too crazy yet. No, no, not at all. We didn't get into QAnon. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my my mentor, he had a a, a friend. She was um, getting her PhD or something, and she did her um, I guess her thesis. Yeah. On uh, like fake sugar, and it was yeah, but it was debunked. Check out Lane Norton. Lane, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. he's 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 a great. Um, expert when it comes to nutrition and fitness and he'll yeah. he's got an Instagram he'll just say these are the studies and then he'll stand in front of it and break down the studies mm. and you go oh that was bullshit right, right 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 the same studies that allow you to you know get Oxycontin passed because it's not addictive mm. well they got studies showing it's not addictive mm. <laughs> fucking crazy I have a quick question I'm a big fan of uh, Jenna Ortega mm-hmm. um, how was it working with her and awesome. being her coach. Awesome. She's super talented. Her Is there any direction that you had to give to her? Is there Yeah, there vulnerability was... that you had to give to her, you know, just to kind of She was up. How was that? She she was already like loose and relaxed and really in touch. I, 50 she was 15 mm. when 
she started coming to me, her and her mom, both awesome. Wow. Dad's awesome. Family's amazing. And I think she was just coming off like um, Stuck in the Middle, one of those shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she was starting to audition for like really good indies and, and gritty roles. But she was always close. Mm -hmm. There's actors that are like, oh, dude, we're just going to do that, you know? And I specialize in those actors. I don't have the patience to do like the fundamentals of acting. Right, right. You know. You have to it, be ready. Right. I'm better at like, dude, you're close here. Everyone's going to do this. Yeah. Right. And, and except when it comes to self tapes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But she was always close, really close. And try this because I know everyone's going to do that. They fucking put that exclamation point's a trap. Mm -hmm. Right. And she was always like, Right there, super prepared, amazing memory, mm. crazy work ethic. I was saying that before she was a star. I was using her as an example because mm. she came in, her and her mom, they lived hours away. Her mom's an ER nurse mm -hmm. and wow. Natalie. And um, they would come in like, hey, dude, we can't be there till 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. And she just got off set. And when I say crazy fucking work ethic, I mean it. I'll never forget. And I was telling this story. People think, you now you're telling that story. I told this years ago. Yeah. She had 16 pages. Me and her mom would just sit and shoot the shit. Yeah. And Jenna would just drop down to the floor and go, <laughs> okay, I'm ready. And I'm like, what the fuck? 16 Memorizing pages. Everything? Oh, yeah, 16 pages. She didn't, she just like, That's dope. just got it. She would just drop down, but because she was always working on that crazy work ethic. Mm. Wow. Never like, Ah, uh, fuck, I'm going to phone it in. No, uh, really, really. And it was nice because me, her, and her mom would collaborate. And then, man, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, here, da-da-da-da-da. And, you know, it's hard to see the picture when you're in the frame. Even, like, I don't have the answers on everything. Yeah. Right. right? And when it's your audition, you can't see clearly. Because now you got some fucking skin in the game. Who's, right. fuck, dude. Tom Hardy's in this? Fuck, I just blew it. Yeah. I don't want to, like, shit, it'd be cool to, it'd be cool to go to Hawaii, it'd be cool to this. And the minute you start doing that, you start fucking the work up. Yeah. Mm. Right? And no matter how much of a pro you are, you still need direction and notes. And dude, maybe try this here. The best actors that come to me aren't afraid to get a note. Mm. Celebrities that you would know, I don't know, I man, what do you think? Mm. And there's no ego. Yeah. It, dude, it's really fucking good. Literally, when you say that line, just put your jacket on. And it'll take the heft off that exposition. Good point. Because I know everyone here is just going to look and say that. So just, dude, put your jacket on or th take your watch off. Boom, and it changes things. Mm. And But it's a very, you know, my parents used to say <laughs> as kids, because, like, they'd make us fight, literally. <laughs> Both my parents. <laughs> But we're in the ghetto, and they say it's a fucking poor ass that can't take a whooping. Right. And it's the same thing with acting. Mm. Like, you give some actors notes, and they go, what do you mean? Well, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. You know? Right. So you got to have a thick skin and go, what is it, man? I can't say that word. My fucking tongue isn't working. Yeah. Right? That's a, that's a tough word. I have a, I, it's hard for me to say nothing. I say, ah, oh, that's nothing. Right. So now I have to say nothing, and I have to sit for 10 minutes and go, that doesn't mean nothing to me or anything. And I have to work on that. Mm. Mm. But if you have an ego and you're fragile, there's, again, there's actors I've given notes to and they just fucking crumble. Mm. And it's yeah, like, oh, ones that feel like they know it all. shit. Yeah. yeah. Or they're, they just aren't ready to take direction. direction. Right, right. You have to be coachable, right? You have to be coachable. And the, and the greats are. Yeah. There's just no ego. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I bet you if Michael Jordan told Steph Curry, hey, come here. Dude, when he does this, just an inch that way. He wouldn't go, what the fuck, man? I'm Steph Curry. <laughs> you know? Right. Or same, yeah. with, same with Kobe. Right. You'd be like, dude, want, give me one thing, bro. Like, right. One right. thing, what can I do? Right. If you lose two pounds, bro, you'll, really? Yeah. Right, right. Nice. That'd be the smart thing to do. So whenever I work, like, I got some really seasoned actors that come in that are really, really, really fucking good. I'm fucking stealing that. I want to fucking. <laughs> That's really fucking good. I would have fucked that scene up. Oh, you asked me, I think maybe before the camera cut out, yeah. if I 
do a scene b- before the actor does it or show yes, him. Yes, yes. No, I'm the opposite. Someone will pay me for coaching, which is double a normal self-tape fee. Mm. And I say, just do your thing. Let me see what you got. And sometimes it's perfect. Mm. And I go, I'm not fucking that up. I would have fucked that up if I would have opened my mouth. Mm. Because I can only see things here. Right, right. Right? I don't know you. I don't know what you've been through. I didn't know you enunciate that good. I didn't know you can morph into that. I would have fucked it up with my with my brain. Right. What you did is perfect. Mm. Some acting teachers will go, shit, you're fucking paying me that much? I'm going to give you a note for the sake of giving you a note. No, that's, that's wrong. Mm. That's wrong. Wow. So I just... I let him do it and go, nah, it's real good. Maybe here, do that, but just tweak it a little I don't really want to fuck with it. Yeah. And some actors will go, nothing? Like, you sure? Because that's our... our right, right. Sometimes. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah. Right? But th- I just, I let actors do their thing. Because we're all bringing something different. But, you know, you you'll bring something that no one else will bring. But that goes back to who are you? Right. Who are you? Right. Good, bad, or indifferent. Who the fuck are you? And I'm teaching a, a class this week, tomorrow and Thursday, on crafting a character. And it's going to be a lot of Is it in person? This, yeah. How many um, students? Eight. Eight students. Yeah, just for time constraints, I keep it. I like and that. And I also, you know, it's less intimidating. It's going to be a lot of this kind of... Uh, discussions on shadow and, and who are you? I need to take your classes. How, uh, like, can I subscribe to your... They're usually one-offs. I have one. I, they've been sold off for two or three weeks now. I'm going to have another one in September. Okay. And uh, I'm having one this week, one next week. This will be like t- getting your character. Mm. When I say character, I'm talking character acting. Anything you do is a character. Yeah. Right. But you're fucking Dahmer, you're Joker. Right. Like, that's what we want, anyways. Mm. You, I can't tell you how many actresses would say, I want to play a role that I say, what's your dream role? Oh, I don't know. I guess maybe. And it's like, oh, you're you're all, you're already softening. Yeah. Mm. So I don't I guess maybe, I don't know, like um a prostitute or some kind of okay, well that's your shadow and it's fine. Mm. Right? That's fine. Mm. Whatever draws you to that, right? Cool. But that is your, that's your shadow. Do that without going, we shouldn't as peers or an acting teacher go, what the fuck you want? Right, right. Who hurt you? Right. (laughs) What the fuck? Because then you just stifled their, right? But you need to go in as an artist. And that's why I love that Jung quote so much, just, Go in the basement. You know what the fuck's in the basement. Mm. You know what's in the basement. Yeah. Are you tired of fucking your husband? Yeah, you know you know you are. Right, right. You, you're sick of your husband. You want to be fucking divorced. You can't stand your wife. Mm. You can't stand your wife. Mm. You fantasize about her sister. It, that, and you go, oh shit. No, that's it. Right. You fucking shoot cats. Right. <laughs> you don't like it. Really? Like, you know, someone fucking gets off on shooting cats. Right. No, but it has it. to be a space to where you go, dude, if it makes someone go like this, that's where the money is. That's where it's yeah. at. That's where the money is. Mm. Like, it doesn't, it, it should, it, it, it really is. And I've heard some stuff, you'd be like, no, nah, dude, you didn't hear that. Yeah. But I don't repeat anything. I don't tell my wife shit. <laughs> I know therapists with doctorates that can't keep their fucking mouth shut. Mm. Wow. And I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Mm. But with me, it dies. Even if I don't fuck with you no more, yeah, he told me that in secrecy. I ain't, I ain't repeating that. Right, That's right. just how I roll. Right, right. But actors need to know that. Like, if I tell you you ain't, number one, I ain't gonna fucking judge you. Right. And it dies. I don't give a fuck. There's nothing you're gonna say to me that I probably haven't thought or done or want to do Seen or something right but when you get that address the elephant and it's like oh, okay cool man you know yeah you need that because otherwise you're like there's a governor on it 
There's mm. a covenant on it, yeah. mm. right? And it that's the thing when when, when it, where method gets a bad. Like, what the fuck is method? We hear method, mm. right? I don't think Joaquin, and Joaquin Phoenix, I think his Joker, again, was great. And his thing is like, I don't even know what method is. I think he's just like, this is me, dude. I'm pretty fucking sick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, point a camera at me and I'll just be honest. It's like, wow, the ball's on that. Opposed right. to, I'm going to play crazy. I'm fucking right. crazy. Right, right, yeah, I'm right. putting on makeup. No, no, no. If you, if you really vocalized your thoughts, your de- like what's in the basement, mm. yeah. you know? It's like the people that, oh, they have a mansion, nothing to see. Yeah, but that one room. Right. What was in that room? <laughs> you know? Fucking handcuffs and shackles and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah or, or worse. Right. You know? But everything else was good. That if you really vocalized your thoughts and your shadow, people would think you're crazy. But actors go, I'm going to act crazy. No, 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 no. Speak your mind. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. If you said, like, you had a thought and you said it. Right. You'd be, people go, you're fucking nuts. Right. But uh, actors, we go, oh, that's here. And then I'll play crazy. And then it becomes an affectation. And we go, bullshit. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Right. I don't buy it. I need to go. Dude, that I believe that. Right. Like, I see Jake Gyllenhaal in Southpaw, and I go, yeah, yeah, I believe that. Mm. You know what I mean? I yeah. think he can he could get by in the ghetto. Yeah. Right? Now, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal is, I'm sure, the furthest thing from fucking, you know what I mean? Right, right. But it's like, could we take Jake Gyllenhaal and drop him off in Philly and he don't get fucked with? I think so, in uh, Southpaw. Right, right, right. Right? But that's talent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it's an affectation because I'm sure he's probably the fucking epitome of privilege growing up. Exactly. I doubt he was, you know, struggling. Right. But that's what we have to do lest it becomes a caricature. Mm. Right? Mm. Eminem and 8 Mile, you're like, oh, that's, this motherfucker ain't acting. Right, right. He's just giving himself permission. But that's right. very hard to pull off. And it's the same thing. It's finding it in you. Mm. Where is it in me? Where's the killer in me? I like what you said, giving yourself permission. Yeah. But it is, right? Yeah, Where's the exactly. racist in you? And if you go, dude, it, it don't exist, I go, now nah, you're fucking lying. Right, right, now right. you're lying to me. Right, right. Have you ever thought, fucking honky cracker, white motherfucker? <laughs> but I say that in my class and people, and they go, dude, I don't care. Right. The minute I act like I do, I'm a fucking liar. Hmm. You need to go, yeah, I've thought that. Right. Yeah, I've said that. Of course. Yeah, I of course. We've, we've all had it. Right? Yeah. Had it. Yeah. But that's where, but to even say that, it's like, good. Right. You're working. Hmm. Are you, is there a pulse? Are you working? But if you go, no, nothing to see here, I couldn't even, oh my God, I couldn't imagine, like, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta pull him over and point a gun at him. No, oh my God, I couldn't. Shut the fuck up. Hmm. That's why I can't have a gun in my car. <laughs> Why? Shoot somebody. I feel like my first intention will be to pull it out. Yeah. Okay. At least not sh- not shoot him. Yeah, that's crazy. But, but, but to brandish it, it to brandish it. Well, right, it is right, too. It right. it, it, it is. Serious. But at least you're honest. When you start getting there, yeah, that's the good stuff. Mm. But you can't do that in most classes. Yeah. Someone's going to get their feelings hurt. And my thing is, good, you should get your fucking feelings hurt. Right. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not soft, man. I hear that. As long as it's honest. Right, Absolutely. right, right. Is it honest? Right. You think he's fucking cute and you don't care that he's married or got a girl and you want to? Cool. Is that honest? Cool. Mm. That's why Meisner's so great to watch two people fire off. Because mm. you'll see... Someone will say something, like, oh, shit, dude, he just fucking told her her nose is too big, and she's crying. <laughs> but if they go, I'm not saying, ah, it's kind of low. I'm not going to do that. You know? Okay. I'll tell actors, walk up to me, go over there, walk up to me, say the first thing that comes to your mind. And they go, ooh, ooh, they, like, because they don't want to hurt my feelings. I'm like, fuck, the minute, the, the fact that that makes you clam up is an issue. Yeah. Right. Well, and walk over and see these fucking bad boys, ring, you point them out. Right? 
Oh, you got wrinkles. Oh, you got a receding hairline. Oh, you have no top lip. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I went, but get, I, the minute I go, you shouldn't have said that and you hurt my feelings. Right, right. They go, I'm, I'm not doing this. Now they no, crammed up again. Yeah. You need to, but I'm also subjecting myself to be a guinea pig for that. Mm. First thing, it's the Meisner. Pinch and then the ouch. What's the first thing you think? Boom, go. And usually you'll be like, dude, I'm not fucking saying that. But that's where the money is. Yeah. If I'm paying 40 bucks, I'm driving to AMC and I'm getting the fucking good tickets and the 50 bucks popcorn that ain't, yeah. that ain't I know, double so good. I know, so expensive. Right. I not want to good. see. <laughs> yeah. I want to see. I don't want to see I'm okay, you're okay. Right. I want to see you do the shit that I can't do. Right, right. Right? right? That's what I want to see. Real shit. That's so true. Jonathan, I don't want this battery to cut off on you, so um, tell the people if they want to get their feelings hurt in your <laughs> acting class, <laughs> how do they find I'm the one you? that gets my feelings hurt. <laughs> I don't think anyone gets there. How, if they want to get in contact with you, they want to do some work with you, how can they find you? Hot shot self-taping. Hotshotselftaping.com. Hot shot okay. You have an Instagram as well? Yeah, and that's Hot Shot Self Taping. Hot Shots underscore self taping. I got a personal one, but I don't I don't use that for much. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah, you don't want people all up in your DM. Man, that happens. It it have every day someone messages me asking them, asking me to make them the next Jen Ortega or to get them on Wednesday. Wow. Or to be a pen pal with Jen Ortega. And I'm like, you got some stones. Wow. <laughs> like, I'm all for, like, going for what you want. But, like, that's just... you're. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, and it's creepy. You got to do the work. Yeah, that's, that's okay. yeah you got to do... You don't even want to... You got to do the work. You don't even want to pay your dues. Sign up for one of my classes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's... This this new generation, I sound like an old head. That's funny. It's very true. I would have at least took, taken someone's class first before. Quickly, before Indeed. we end, do you have any um, advice for up-and-coming actors? <laughs> Trying to make it in the business. Don't do it. <laughs> no, good. Who was that? I saw someone say that recently because yeah, they said... Yeah, I, I saw that too. They said... Don't do it. It was... Um, <laughs> not, was it Matt it Damon? Was, or? was it Colin Farrell? I want to say Colin Farrell. I think it was Colin Farrell. Yeah, I think it was Colin Farrell. And he said... Yeah, it was. Exactly. Yeah. I, th I probably posted it. Yeah, I think you did post it. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he said even if, if you I don't... don't if you... if You know, if you take that advice, you don't want it anyway. You don't want but, it. Yeah. Right. No, my advice would be move to Atlanta, New York, or LA. Study your ass off mm. and get ready for rejection. Mm. You have to be a masochist. Mm. You have to be, it's a war of attrition. And if you have any, any chink in your armor, acting will expose it. If you can't handle mm. the fucking rejection. Mm. I've been rejected since I came out my mama. I was born for this shit. Born for this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jonathan you Stanley, have thick skin. everybody. You have to have thick skin. Look, uh, this is the Beyond Take Two podcast. Uh, the Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival is open for submissions, everybody. Yes. Send us your shorts, send us your features, your documentaries, your screenplays. We will Which be in downtown. Huh? Which film festival is this? Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival. Yes. We will be downtown April 24th through the 28th um, at the Regal LA Live. Yeah. At yeah. Least, at least one of the days you can you need to be there. What's your film you know. festival? Okay. Both of our film festivals. Yeah. yeah. When did you start this? Congrats. Two years ago. We were about to do our third year. Where at? Uh, Regal LA Live. Yes. LA Live? Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you guys watch all the movies and pick them? Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we will be watching your yes. movies and picking the finalists. Yes. Um, but submit right now. You could go to bhiff.org or you go to filmfreeway.com slash bhiff and submit your film today. Yes. And let us take a look at it. And we hope to see you guys next year. Yes. Um, this is, there is a promo episode. code for Film Freeway. Can I get a, one of those uh, waivers? What? <laughs> Oh, no, no. For Jonathan, yes. No, look at me looking for well, freebies. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, we'll, 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 we'll give you a little homie discount. The rich stay rich, you know? I'll pay the fee. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and once again, shout out to Double Good. Shout out to Double Good. We didn't give you y'all props. Shout I out to Double cheese. Good. It's a really good popcorn, you guys. Delicious. That's a really good popcorn. Yes. Um, but this is the Beyond Take Two podcast brought to you by Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival. We just finished up episode 28 with my man, Jonathan Stanley. Appreciate you for coming through, bro. Thank you for having me. Yes. Definitely, yes. definitely. You guys are um, very hospitable. We appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, man, follow us at Beyond Take Two. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Anything, Veronica? No. You good? Yep. We good? All right. Yep. Before this battery cut out again, <laughs> uh, we'll see y'all next week. All right. Peace. Peace. Beyond Take Two. Take a walk. Beyond.